Good morning. I am looking so like shiny right now. I don't really know what's going on, but long time no see. I am currently in the trenches and by trenches, I mean studying for the MCAT. So I just thought it would be fun today to take you along. You know what a day of studying looks like for me. I took a full length exam yesterday and I have improved since my diagnostic exam, which is good. Did I still have a mental breakdown regardless? Yes, I did. Yes, I, yeah, that happened. Mm -hmm. Yep. But you know, we're still making progress. So today I'm going to review my full length exam, see what I got wrong, you know, go over the concepts I need to go over. But before that, I need to eat some food. So let's go do that. of champions. <laughs> okay, so while I eat, I just kind of wanted to talk about like what my plan for today is. Yeah, so like I said earlier, yesterday I took a full length exam and that was my third full length. I've only done the AMC sample, that was my diagnostic exam. And then the other two full lengths have been third party exams. So it's like, I want to trust the score, but it's also like, we know that they're deflated. So if anything, maybe I'm doing better than I th think I am. I don't know, but either way, I can't really know until I start doing the AMC ones. But before that, today, I am going to be going over all the questions, except for cars, because I was going on MCAT Reddit. If you've ever studied for MCAT, if you're going to study for MCAT, I feel like that's kind of like, kind of my partner in crime and all this like i'll be looking over something and be like do i really need to know this just any any question comes up in my mind someone else has probably asked it on mcat reddit so that has been like a blessing and a curse you know you hear those stories about how someone got like a 527 and it was right out of high school and they were just born to be a doctor not that not getting a 527 means you're not supposed to be a doctor but you know there are people like that <laughs> and then there's like the real people so don't be discouraged if you see stuff like that but yeah today i'm gonna be going over my missed questions log which is basically where like i write down the question i write out what the answer is for each section and then say why i missed it like you know what the correct explanation is and like any other um, information about that kind of question so if it's like I missed it because I didn't remember the hormones, which I, I don't think I've ever remembered them. So that's something I definitely need to work on. I'll like write out all the hormones, where they come from and stuff like that, like on the side. Luckily, the, the more I do this, the faster it becomes because I miss less questions. And like, I don't really like, I like, I don't really like reviewing them. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like doing it. It's so much work, but I know you have to do it. Like I'd rather be, just reading my little textbook or whatever, but that's not how you improve, at least not in the long run. So you have to do it. So that's why I'm like, I need to get a high score so that when I review my full links, I'll review it for like 20 minutes. Like, okay, got question one wrong. And then I'm done. Like that's, that's my goal for myself. And I can see it for myself so much because like I said, this is just, mm, mm, mm. anyways, I'm going to finish this and then get into studying. So I wanted to show you an example of a question that I got wrong and like kind of what my process is. Um, this is one of the first ones I'm actually adding to the actual document, but I've had other ones that I've gotten wrong that I just kind of reasoned through without writing it down. Um, so for this one, there's this graph that shows pressure and then the change of adding a salt to the different pressure values for temperature. So the solid black line is just pure water and then this is adding salt. 
So I think one of the colligative properties is that adding any sort of like solute to water raises the temperature at which it boils. So I was like, okay, that makes sense. It takes a higher temperature for it to turn into a vapor when there's salt in there. So I was like, okay. And I was in between these two answers. So I was, it's increased, but the reason that it increased, I wasn't sure. I said that you need the vapor pressure to be greater than the external pressure. Turns out that the vapor pressure just has to be equal to the external pressure in order for something to boil. So that's something I learned and now I know that and I'll never forget it. And so I have my little review on my iPad and something really cool is that I can control my iPad like with my with my cursor. So that's really nice. It's like the newer iPads that do that. I just have the topic here within the question. I kind of summarized it a little bit, why I missed it, and then the correct explanation. I feel like that's all I really need for this question because I knew that it increased, but that extra little piece of knowledge is what I needed to get this question right. And you know, you can see the answer was pretty, it was pretty split between the people. I don't feel as bad that I missed it, but it's also like, now I won't miss it again. <laughs> This is what I look like as I'm studying and also as I'm taking the full length exams. And I'm looking kind of scared because I feel like they're not going to allow me to have my hood up, but it just makes me feel much more centered in the exam. So if they need to check my hood, do whatever you got to do for this to be okay. It's a smaller testing facility. I feel like it fits like six people. So I think I can get away with it. I feel like this is so boring. Like what? I'm just like, I'm literally just doing this all day. Back to work. Alrighty y'all, so it's about, oh my God. <laughs> so it's about two and a half hours later and I finished going over all of the chem phys section. And honestly, that might sound like a long time, but the first practice exam I did took me the entire day. And I think it was one because I was just so tired the day after taking the exam and also because I missed a lot more questions that time around. So, you know, this time I still like this is the section I miss the most questions in usually, but the things that I was missing, it was like, OK, I kind of I was like halfway there, like I knew enough about the concept, but there was like one thing that I was missing that I didn't already know. So it's like, OK, now I know that new extra thing, which is so vague, but like, um, yeah so that by far took the longest which is a good sign because the other sections i only missed like 15 18 questions and this one i missed like 20 something it'd be a lot shorter and i'm also skipping cars like i said but before that i think i'm gonna eat it's, it's definitely lunch time and chem fizz takes a lot out of me so as i was studying i was listening to this uh spotify playlist i don't know i find i find it good because it's like not as distracting as listening to music with words but it's still like still upbeat enough for me to not feel bored because low-key like those uh lo-fi beats are kind of boring sometimes like it makes me want to sleep but this is like this is nice also shout out isabel because i low-key was looking at what people were listening to and i saw she was listening to this so i decided to listen as well wow all of my beautiful notes this is like only one page of it and it's just like random stuff i write down this problem was like i don't even know if i could like i understand it but i don't know if i could ever do that i'm not trying to sell myself short i just literally don't know if i could do that okay also i don't know if this is just me but i feel like the blueprint layout for everything is just so ugly this is so horrifying like why do i need to see what i highlight like why can't i just x this out and just not see what i highlighted or like it's not even the full screen like it's like part of the screen and i don't know it's just so ugly like i can't see how long it took me to do this question this is really making me appreciate you world a lot more because like this is just so horrifying like why is clicking the next section all the way over here and i have to click like in the middle to click next i feel like next should be oh lord but that's blueprint i just keep finding more things wrong with it but like the buttons change locations every time you click it but i will say one thing that's nice about it is like it shows you when you change your answer from like wrong to right or right to wrong right next to it and it'll have the explanation for all of it so for example i went from one wrong answer to and even something else wrong so 
I don't know why I decided to show that as the example, but it's nice that you can kind of see like right here exactly what you're thinking. Oh Lord. But yeah, this that is nice, but otherwise this is very, it's very ugly. So it is a couple hours later and now I'm doing psych soch and I think for psych soch, so I consistently finish like 10 or 15 minutes early for the section. And I don't know if this is like a good or a bad idea. I think it's good. But halfway through, I get really tired doing psych soch, and I think I could probably take like a five minute break during the exam and like walk around or something. I did that in my room, but I like, I kind of, I was too afraid to actually leave my room. So I just kind of stayed and like paced around. And I think it did help, but I still ended up getting like tired again. So I think for like the next full length exam, I'm gonna try and stand up, walk around, you know, take like five minutes and like, have an extra snack for like then, and then, you know, get a little refueled and then come back, finish psych soch. Because like, I just turned it in and I finished early. And this time around, I did the best on psych soch. So it's like, okay. Clearly it's not like I'm finishing too fast and like not getting things because I'm not getting to them. Cause I don't really feel rushed during it. I just like happen to do the questions faster. So. Yeah, but again, I haven't really done the AAMC stuff yet, so like maybe that's not gonna be the case at all, but I'm tentatively allowing myself to take a break during psych soch, so I think it'd be nice. Alrighty, I am officially done for the day. It is 5.45, but I did call my friend for like 45 minutes, so I would've been done around like five. And honestly, usually I end my day around 7 p.m. and then go on a walk, so it's kind of nice that I kind of finished early today. I don't know, maybe I'll do some like Anki after I take a longer break and like eat some food and stuff this evening. But I think just kind of like some overall thoughts after taking this practice exam yesterday afterwards, you know, even though I did do better than before, I just was feeling like really overwhelmed all of a sudden because of course I'm not really where I want to be in terms of like my overall score, like I am aiming for like 518, which is a lofty goal, but I feel like I can really do it if I really put, you know, my best effort in. But I am about like eight points away from there, which I feel like is doable. But you know, yesterday seeing that I'm still like eight points away and like not really in the teens or anything like that, I don't know, it just really had me really sad. I kind of had a little mental breakdown but my friends had some very encouraging words and I really appreciate them through that. And I think what I'm realizing is it's so important to have support system during all of this. Cause like I could have easily just spiraled like, oh my gosh, like how am I gonna do this? Like there's so many things I'm still getting wrong or so many things I still haven't learned, which I mean, of course. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm feeling. I'm also only technically halfway through because I have a whole other month that I take at the end of July and it's July 2nd. So, you know kind of like being a little more patient and kind with myself. And uh, like I said, haven't even done any AMC stuff yet. So there's still a lot of improvement to do and a lot of work to put in still, obviously. And you know, my friend Avni, she kind of put it best saying that like every day is just gonna have to be hard work. So, you know, except for break days, which tomorrow is one. I just thought I would show what a day looks like with studying for the MCAT. And I'm probably gonna go on a walk later and watch some TV, just kind of chill out after putting all the information in my brain and then come back tomorrow and do it all over again. Oh, not tomorrow, Monday and do it all over again. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you following me today. It was probably very boring. I don't know how long this is gonna be. If you wanna see more of my MCAT journey, let me know. And if you don't, I don't blame you because I don't even really wanna be doing it, but you know, I wanna be a doctor, so you have to. Good luck to anyone else who's taking it. And I can't wait to be on the other side where I tell you how great I did and how I studied so hard and I did all of that, so yeah. She a art chick, always doing art shit Show me how she does it, now I only wanna watch this Like the way she talk about the time